What's up, guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. That was good. That was good. I liked that. You know, some people, they get tired extended. of that. I'm Courtney Revolution, a little hand. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Moment. I appreciate it, you guys. <laughs> we told you this morning we would have more tea for you this afternoon. And here we are. I don't want to brag and say we overpromised, but, or I mean, we underpromised. Listen. We underpromised because. So much happened with Justin, Selena, and Haley. It's absurd. Girl, from the morning tea to daily rewind, them little three hours in between, girl. Why people don't know how to act? Uh, I don't know. The news break. It was crazy. You guys, <laughs> we're going to talk again about Tristan and Tyga and the latest with James Charles. But like we said, we're just going to go ahead and dive into this Jelena news. We're not even going to make you wait for it because mm -hmm. it's so crazy. So. A new report from Radar Online, you guys. A source says Justin has been increasing his Selena talk around Haley and that she was reaching her boiling point. She's been mm. reaching her boiling point. Now, this is something I definitely can see happening because last week and this weekend, remember, we kind of mm -hmm. talked about how Justin and Selena had been reportedly talking again intermittently because Justin feels like she understands what he's been through with his mental health struggles. Mm -hmm. She's been there and I feel like they went through a lot of the same things at the same time when they were together. You know, young, mm -hmm. celebrities, all of that stuff. They were Jelena. Exactly. So while we knew that was happening, we were just kind of like, okay, it's very innocent, which I still... It's cute. Don't know if it's, in, I think it's innocent. But anyway, Ooh. we're gonna keep going. Girl. Things apparently exploded when Haley, this is the information we found today, found text messages from Selena on Justin's phone. Now, I assume and I speculate mm. that she had to have been going through his phone and saw yeah. those because I don't know how if you're not snooping and you're not trying to get in there, how else you would find them. I'm gonna say this, Madison. Now, Haley, you went through all of that for what? When all you had to do was make sure you were subscribed to Holly Scoop because <laughs> me and Madison would have been told you that Justin and Selena were talking, but y'all like to key key to the key 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 on social media and say that it's fake news. Right. Now look at you. You exactly. out here acting crazy and we still talking about you. Oh my gosh, you are so right. You just made a fabulous point. Okay, so mm. Haley finds these texts. A source told Radar that Haley freaked out and mm. reportedly told Selena that she needs to stay away from Justin. <laughs> so we know that this is not actually the first time. I was kind of thinking of the whole time when, you know, Haley and Justin were dating, mm -hmm. even before they had the shotgun wedding. Yes, I know Haley was insecure about Selena. This isn't the first time she's told her that. I know she had similar words for Kourtney Kardashian at one point, because we know Kourtney and Justin mm -hmm. never confirmed, but basically had a thing like back, back, back in the day. Yes, um, so I'm just mind blown. I'm to be say, honest, that it escalated to this point. I think that Haley, mm -hmm. I mean, well, we know Haley back in the day was a Jelena shipper. Right. So she understands the gravity of this situation. Exactly. And the I pool know, that Justin Madison. and Selena have. So Selena reportedly thinks all of this is hilarious, um, which I feel like that does sound petty, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's petty. I feel like I it's just it's kind of like, I mean, I'm single, I'm fine you should maybe worry about what's going on in your home before you come for me type of situation. Um, and that Selena and Justin are on good terms. Now, mm. we obviously talked about this in the Holly Scoop office yes, and it was what? brought up because you guys were kind of all shook over this information and these texts and whatever. And someone brought up the fact of is Selena a homewrecker because mm. she's responding to these texts and she's engaging in these, these conversations when she knows that Justin's married. All right. Again, this is not our opinion. I'm just. This is not our opinion. So relax in the comments. Yeah, don't get mad at me, okay? Selena didn't wreck no home. Yeah. She didn't wreck no home. Can I tell you why? Yes. Because Justin is carrying on mm -hmm. with her. Right. And he has a wife at home. Right. So I, while he's talking to Selena, there's nothing wrong with it, mm -hmm. but you got to keep Haley in the loop. Exactly. Because she's supposed to be the logical piece in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, Justin's out here being emotional. Haley can't be emotional. Right. Or y'all gonna be Tasmanian <laughs> devil and spin out of control, and then we gonna be at the table talking about divorce party. I feel like if he would just be upfront and honest and be like, I'm talking to her because she understands 
on a level that may, oh, that, that sounds bad, to tell his wife, my ex understands me more than you do. Oh, just kidding. Rewind. God, I'm telling the Rewind it. Them <laughs> the they did, they did. <laughs> but I, I think it's just, if he would explain exactly, keep her in the loop, but when mm -hmm. you're keeping it a secret, that's when it looks like it's wrong and that something inappropriate is happening when it's not being shared openly. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I also, on that end, don't know how Justin could really bring that up in conversation because we know Selena is a heavy, heavy, heavy point of contention between mm -hmm. the married couple. Um, I don't know, how would you feel if you were married mm -hmm. And your husband mm -hmm. was, I'm seeing texting, his face right was now. texting his ex mm -hmm. over something, a big issue that you've been trying to be there for him mm -hmm. throughout the whole thing. Yeah. And he's saying, you know what? You're not giving me what I need. I need to go to my ex and get that comfort. Oh, his ex will be single. That's how I, I Oh so, no. Oh, he will be sing, single. <laughs> So, Single. Exactly. So, well, yes, <laughs> I love Selena, but I also, just as a female, and if I were in Haley's shoes, mm -hmm. like, I would not put up with that BS. Let me say this, Madison. You know me. I try, I try to see all the signs. Mm -hmm. What if, what if, mm -hmm. Justin is seeing how happy Selena is, he's seeing the results of her rehab, the results of her therapy, and he's just, like, hitting her up, like, how do I do that? Which, then why doesn't he just say that? And why doesn't he just tell Haley that and say that's exactly what it is? I also- Cause it's multi story, yeah, man. I also, again, mm. think it's funny. All week we've been talking about Selena in Can promoting mm. her new movie, looking great. She has her new Puma line, which we talked about earlier with all these cool little like mm -hmm. Easter egg pieces little of information. Details, hometown coordinates she and all that. She looks so good in the ads <laughs> and oh, poof. All of a sudden, here we go. And this is exactly what I tell you guys. I swear, I don't know what it is mm -hmm. about Justin and Selena, but as soon as she just shows us even more how well she's doing that she's single, he just pops right back in. Something else is gonna happen, and then all of a sudden, Justin is gonna come out with more new music. Oh? Watch. Okay. Uh, he Apparently, the music video is coming tomorrow with Ed Sheeran, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Interesting. We're, interesting. We're gonna catch you guys up on a few other things. Because I know you guys are going to have a lot to say about that Justin, Selena, and Haley news. I know. Um, but real quick, let's talk about Tyga and Tristan because that might be a feud brewing that oh. we're confused about. Um, a source told Hollywood Life that Tyga has been creeping on Jordan Craig, a.k.a. Tristan's ex, on her mm. Instagram. Um, and Tristan is just furious about it. I can't stupid. even say that was a shriek. That is dumb. That's laughable. Exactly, Madison. Exactly. It's laughable. Exactly. It's so ridiculous. Apparently, the source said, you know, Tristan considers Jordan family, mm -hmm. and he's afraid that Tyga's going to slide into her DMs, use her, and break her heart. You want to know why oh. he knows that? Because that's what he does. Oh, no. I think Tristan needs to mind his own business. I agree. I think Tyga is, you know what? He just got a little shade from Black China on mm -hmm. Wendy Williams that robs a better lover than him. Let him shoot his shot at whoever he wants, okay? I agree. It's fine. And we're in a different day and age. Like, I feel like if he's sliding into Jordan's DMs, you haven't been treating her right. Right. You get what I'm saying? What's wrong with seeing her happy? Also, Jordan has no like friendship connection to anyone in the Car Jenner circle. So really? Who, so who her, cares? Her only connection is Tristan mm -hmm. and the fact that obviously he's her son's father and then his connection with Chloe. So I feel like it's not like he's doing anything to Kylie that's disrespectful. He's not really mixing. Uh uh. I mean, it is what it is. I Tristan didn't treat her right. Tyga might want to. What's the harm in that? The harm is Tristan is thinking about himself. Exactly. He's selfish. Oh, sh surprise. I don't know where I was going. Surprise. Surprise, you sister. Know? That's exactly why. <laughs> I was segueing and I didn't even know it. Uh, James Charles Ooh. news. Logan Paul is defending James Charles today, but then also saying uh. he's not defending him on his podcast. Very confusing. Girl, it was gross. Listening to that podcast, I kind of felt like I was listening to someone that would have tried to make fun of me in high school. Yeah. And you know what? Exactly. And you know what? I felt like, you know what? you He's a clout chaser. Yeah. Logan Paul. Logan Paul, I think, is just trying to defend James Charles for the moment. Because when James Charles tries to redeem himself, he'll look around and see no one was I'm on his side like, yeah. but Logan Paul. I'm also like, I don't think Logan Paul is the player you want on your team. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't recovered no. himself either. And I just feel like it's so 
a hypocritical. He's like, I hate James Charles. I'm not defending him. But like, watch what you say though, because like he's only 19 and like the He's so young. Y'all are doing too much. Y'all are like, bullying him. Clearly, you don't actually know what's happening. And I know that because he's like, I read a Buzz BuzzFeed article and I'm like, okay, so you didn't watch Tati's video. You didn't watch James's video. You didn't watch Tea Spill here for the tea or Rich Lux, or else you would know that it's a bigger situation than that, Sister Paul. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, other news too. The sister squad is over. Yeah, Emma over. Chamberlain and the Dolan twins unfollowed James. So mm. any hope of that? You know, I think people were kind of looking to them as to be the people who would stick by him yeah. because they were such good friends. I mean, at least by all appearances outside of By YouTube. all appearances, Madison. We by don't know what happened behind closed doors. But it's over. And I know a lot of stands are going to be upset but mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like a lot of people are ready for james charles to be done too so i don't know there are some people out there that are saying like were they ever really james's friend if they don't come to his aid yeah not when you out here acting like a monster a I, sneaky little monster i feel like they're that. just smart it's like oh we don't want to be associated with someone who's problematic for the sake of being problematic logan paul should maybe take a lesson from those people and everyone that unfollowed james i feel like their way of thinking was yo we have brands to protect yeah it's like i don't want that you got what mm -hmm. i'm saying even down to like demi lovato could you imagine Demi Lovato dropping new music, Madison Hill, mm -hmm. and she tweets it out, my new single is blah, 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 and all the replies are, you didn't follow, follow James, James Charles. Yeah. Nope, 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 not here for it, not here for it. Positive movement. Exactly. All right, you guys, we are ready to hear your thoughts on all of this tea. What do you guys think of the latest Justin Haley and Selena News? Are you shook? Is the end coming? I think it is. <laughs> I think we're coming down to it, Madison. Maybe, I don't know. What is your reaction to this Tristan and Tiger T? Does Tristan need to log off I vote yes? Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. Yes! Finally, let us know your thoughts on Logan's comments on James. Should he have said anything? No. No, just Shut let out. it out down below, you guys. Make sure to click that subscribe button, and tomorrow morning, make sure to turn it, turn in. I mean, you can turn in, too. You can Maybe. turn in, and you can tune turn in. Turn your laptop on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to the Morning Tease, our new live morning show, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys, click the bell so you'll get notified when it's time. And we'll see you tomorrow on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye, Bye guys. guys.